you know, online RC group, someone asked if uh, how you would set up separate trims on T5 and T6 if you had dual ailerons. So I've basically got this set up with two aileron channels. And then uh, if I move T5, it moves move that one. If I move the other one, so that's T6. So how you do that is go into your model, then you go over, you need to assign an input. So you can see on my uh, input number one is my aileron number one. And then uh, that's set up on the aileron stick. And if you go down to, uh, I'm on 2.80, 2.81 is going to be the same, but uh, if you go into the gear here, you can assign what does the trim. So if you just turn it on, the standard uh, T1 does it. Uh, but you can also set the actual aileron. I think when you hit set it to on, it just defaults to the normal aileron. Anyway, you can assign it to the different uh, things. So I set that one to T5. Back out of that, come down, make another channel. So down here on this channel, I've assigned I've created aileron 2, also using the aileron stick. And then uh, again, if you go down to the gear, you just assign this one to T6. And then of course you need to go and into your uh, mixes. I've already got channel 1 is that, and then whatever channel is your second aileron. I just put it on channel 5. So you just create that one. The source needs to be the input you just created, not the stick. Here's the uh, aileron stick. If you were to use that, it wouldn't work because it doesn't accept the trim that you assigned in the input. So make sure you use the uh, input that you created. So that's that. So once you've done that, then you got both of your ailerons and then. Uh, you can set them separately. And of course you can reverse those however you need to. You can flip-flop those. But I uh, hope that helps.